This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos, and today we're going to take a look at uh, piecewise functions, and this video is going to be the intermediate level problem. So this is the second one in a three-part series. All right, so for this particular piecewise function, there are two pieces, a top part and a bottom part, and we can see that our domain, there's two different uh, descriptions of our domain, two different descriptions of our range. So that's what's going to define this function. So uh, you'll notice that the uh, domain is split. We're sometimes going to graph something when x is less than 0. We'll graph this negative 2x plus 1. But when x is greater than 0, we're going to graph this x minus 1. All right, so it's kind of a two-part function to graph. And everything seems to be split along the x uh, equals zero line, which is just the y-axis. All right, so just picture that is x equals zero. So I'm going to put that right down here. x equals zero. So in other words, we're going to graph on the left side of this graph. We're going to graph the y equals negative 2x plus 1. And on the right side of this graph, we're going to graph y equals x minus 1. Okay, so let's do the first part. So uh, I'm going to graph the first part in red. So I'm going to graph that. All right, now it says we're going to graph the y equals negative 2x plus 1. In other words, the y-intercept is 1. So I know it's going to go through there. It's going to go right through 1. And then the slope is going to go down to right 1. But again, I don't want to graph over here. Okay, I don't want to graph this function on the right side. I want to graph it where x is less than 0, which is the left side. So I'm going to try not to put any points over here. So instead of going down to right 1, instead I'm going to go up to left 1. Okay, so I start over here, okay, right there, but I'm going to go up to, right, up to left 1, put a point right there, up to left 1, so our line has that shape. Okay, so it starts right there, and then it kind of goes up, 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 and again, I'm doing this freehand, but that's how it, eh, in general, looks. Okay, so it's going through that point, that point, and then that point right there. So we went up to left one, up to left one, and we've got our graph. Now, what do we do at this x equals zero line? All right, when, you know, at zero, there's no equal sign, right? So there's no equal sign there, so that means I'm not going to put a solid circle. I'm going to put an open circle right there. So put an open circle. It's not part of the graph. All right. Now to graph the next part, I'm going to do that next part in blue. So now this next part, we're going to graph when x is greater than 0 or the right side of this graph. We're going to graph the line y equals x minus 1. All right. So it's got a slope inter... or I'm sorry, the y-intercept, that is, is negative 1. So it goes down here, right? This is where it starts, right there. Uh, and then from that point, we go with, with our slope. Our slope is 1 over 1. So it's got a slope of 1. So I'm going to go from that point. I'm going to go up 1, right 1, put a dot. Up 1, right 1, put a dot. And so on. So our line is going to look... Again, I'm doing this freehand. So I hope I do this well. But it's going to have this shape. Okay, so it's going to have that shape. This time I've got an equal sign at 0, so this time I'm going to put a solid dot. I put the solid dot like there, make it a little bit bigger. All right, so the top part we said, this is the red part right here. Oops, wrong one. This is the blue part, the bottom part. And then the top part was our red part right here. Okay. So we can kind of match those up. So everything left of 0 is the negative 2x plus 1. It's got a negative slope, right? It's going down to the right. And then our blue one is y equals x minus 1, which is a positive slope. So it's going up to the right. Okay, so there you go. We have our graph. And uh, it was separated along this x equals 1 line. And it's broken right there at the x equals I'm not sorry, x equals 1, it's x equals 0 line. And uh, there's where our two parts are. 
So make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out all our interactive quizzes, our lessons and activities and other videos. Take care.